Hi guys, 732 Review Crew here. I am Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we are back today with Fallout Episode 6. Now, I'm very excited for this one because as of, you know, the name it's is... It's a trap. Ah, yeah. Um, I'm very excited for this one because as of last episode, we have Lucy and Maximus together trying to find the head, as well as we have some, some sort of plot with Vault 31 unfolding, which we really don't know too much about besides our tinfoil hat theories. It's very exciting. And they got fell into a vault. Yeah, that's right. That's a big point. They ended the episode on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know what vault more yeah. important. No, we don't. It seemed yeah. like it was really full of plants, yeah. though. It was like all green. Science vault. And it was connected to the hospital, so there has to be something related. Because it was in the medical research center. Sure, fair. Yeah, it was. I'm curious to see what's happening. There's only one way to find out. That's for us to keep watching. So thank you for joining us. We're starting in three, two, one. Hmm. Galaxy News! Radio. This is how Fallout 1 starts, right? Sure, that's better. All four. Meet the Hawthorns. Now, this isn't just your average all-American family. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. That's right. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed entirely by scientists. But uh, our family and a group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. Well, I guess we know where Lucy and Maximus are. <laughs> and they were in the vault when the nukes went off. Mr. Howard, great work today. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks. Bud Askins, I oversee the Southern California operations. West Tech. It's a defense contractor. Oh, I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T-45 power armor. Oh. The first of its kind. You know, I, I oversaw the, the rollout. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, but they sure looked great. I wore the T-45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good men and women their lives. Because what is the ultimate oh, weapon to destroy your competition? It's not outselling them. It's not outsmarting them. It's time. He's in the right company. Ugh! Roosevelt, I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. I'm heading into enemy territory. Hmm? And man and his dog. Crazy that we get to smoke cigarettes yeah. inside houses in the future. All right, well, I need to do it for close friends and beautiful women. <gasps> oh, gosh! I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to suck. <laughs> Fucking love him. <laughs> Jackie, motherfucking Dayton. I think uh, Hollywood actor friends, they want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. You hear I lost a movie over these ads? I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. I've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteknife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? Mm. I serve with that guy. I have meetings and everything. It's a shit show. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives <laughs> and perverts. <laughs> You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world is a product. And for those of us who can successfully embrace that, I'd say the future is golden. Mm. To the future. I, Bath, Bath, only me, Hogsworth, am ever ready to serve. It must be so surreal for him to hear that. <gasps> oh, hello there, boys. NCR? Here for the... Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says who? The government. MCR baby. They give her me. <laughs> oh, Fallout, you you mistress. They're in Vault 4, I think. How'd they get there? They fell. Upward. Downward. Sideways, diagonal. It wasn't very well hidden. Using teeth for ammunition. Always finding new ways to kill each other up there. Jesus, using teeth for a bullet? I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is not good. <laughs> I was born on the surface. <laughs> My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. <laughs> You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. Thank you so much. I'm feeling some sus vibes. <laughs> I don't know. Only because how did they f 
they they backtracked where they came from and found the power armor? Like what? I mean, they're like a day's walk. Sure. You want to have sex? You mean use my cock? <laughs> Are they being yeah. drugged? I don't know. Uh, that weird thing could happen. It was just for some guys, not me. <laughs> for some guys, you know, when they make it move. It gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. Oh, he doesn't know. They say it could happen to anybody. You know, that's, uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. It's like time. the point. I guess the Brotherhood frowns upon yeah. other celibate. That's weird. Night. Um, I never thought about that. Okie dokie. So open. I love it. She's just like, fuck it. Remember, Mikey, she bangs her cousins. Yeah, she does. She was also like, this is boring. Are you bored when I have sex? <laughs> it's like, Can't. test subjects? Test subjects? Test subjects! What's the test? I don't know, but I love that they gave us a little clip of that earlier. This is a cult. <laughs> Same as any. <laughs> Everyone's smiling. Titus, this is a safe place. The vaults are cult. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. What? He's a cyclops. The guy from 30 Rock, Dr. Spaceman. I don't he know. He sounded so familiar. Dr. Spaceman. Oh, they're mutated here. Those are cool eyes, dude. What? Sorry. What's going on with that vault? It's Vault 4. They study the effects of human... Vault Tech did nothing wrong! Oh, come on. Y you've seen these around. Not on you, I haven't. But Askins, he licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the Vault Tech emission system. Oh, I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy she just said that. I mean, it's kind of implied she's a higher up, but I didn't realize she was, like, that higher up. vault -Tec's the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. <laughs> vault -Tec is a private corporation that has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? They can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. So oh. vault -Tec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Yeah, how are they going to do that? That's what that comment about Washington was, the party. vault -Tec is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. And after 10 years of war, the U.S. government is broker than a joke. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. I wouldn't go there, dude. Hello? Hello. May I speak to Barb, please? Who is it? It's Henry. Henry from the Vault Tech Assistant Training Program. Is this Mr. Cooper Howard? You know, no dogs in the vaults. Brother. Who, who, who makes the rules? Because no dogs allowed, that is a new rule. I mean, what else do you have? But asking are the blue jumpsuits. Are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. I mean, she's fair. Yeah, no, I'm saying you're saying. Yeah. Hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults. He also doesn't seem to be totally absorbing the fact that she's making it seem like it's happening. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then denial of the nukes about going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah! Nope. It says Goosey. You're from a vault. You get it. I, I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. What was the joke? <sighs> I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Oh my god, that was like me. <laughs> I see who you are now. I do. I do. I hate it.
Still doesn't have a fusion core. Correct. Where do you guys get your power from? Oh, is that really what he's doing right now? Don't do it, dude. You can't shut off a whole vault. Yes, you can. How did he she just got in there, by the yeah, way? I was just gonna say, how do you walk in here? I see you found our fusion core. Okay. Birdie's the mastermind here. Here. Unit 428. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. Hmm. Yeah, you really don't have much to go back to, dude. When you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> <laughs> mood though, like mood. This is your house. We have windows so we can watch you. He's like Will Ferrell and Elf. <laughs> the fall. Kaboom. Goddamn. This is an NCR school? In vault? Starting to... You a president now. <laughs> Don't say why not. Now what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman. Name of Moldava. They call her the Flame Mother. Now that bitch is dangerous. That was a cool yeah. name. So if I wanted to let you go scot-free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. And then what? My daddy lives in Philly. Well, not no more, he don't. Unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. The apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. My daddy ain't no coward. Are you? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he's so fucking clean with that. Goddamn goal. Oh my god. And he's just. <laughs> he's killing the sheriff. The opposite of his acting, remember? Buddy. Huh? The, act, the opposite of the acting. Yeah. That's Moldaver. Why? That's not how I remember her at all. It's fucking froze. Are they summoning the Flame Mother? Oh god, what the fuck is about to happen? Are they getting naked? Yeah. Goosey, it's time to go. Birdie? Oh, we fuck. By covering ourselves in their ashes. She's like, oh. Is it actually Moldova? Or is it just an icon of her? Bro, what the fuck is that going on, bro? What the fuck? How is she still alive? Unless she works for Vault Tech. That make you feel so good? You wanna make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry? Intercourse? <laughs> Titus. I get why you'd wanna stay. Okay, I really do. I I mean it can't be that crazy if we can just take the elevator there, right? I imagine, but yeah, good vault dwellers would never push that button. Mm. Uh right, sir? Specimen? It's a, it's a gum, it's a gum beef. Yeah. Oh, they might be getting specimens. Remember, Vault 4 was the radiation research lab. Giving birth. <laughs> to fish? The fuck? Are they eating her too? Yeah, they are. Oh my god. What the f Bro, what the fuck? I forget Vault Tech is fucked up. What does it say? Ah, uh, how many pods are there? Wow. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no. That's a scientist. Glad you're all right. Oh god. Hello? Lucy, move. Gotta get out of here. Oh god. Oh no! Specimen gonna... control unit. It's a harpoon gun. Ooh, what is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, no. Damn, okay, there's some shit. 
Remember, she's got hand to hand combat. Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, you probably should have. You're crazy! I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. Probably true. Jeez, Max is enjoying the voice. A porn. Bro. What? <laughs> it's like 30 more seconds. Oh. Oh, dude. Fuck, man. I just came to the realization. I don't think all these stories are going to be completed in two episodes. Is there supposed to be a season two? I think they already got renewed. Why? Why? I need closure, please. God damn it. Why do we have to get a good show? Why is it why? Fuck. They're supposed to live action. We were supposed to wait five years to just binge watch all four seasons. <laughs> live action do always suck. Why is this one good? Dude. I can't deal with this. God. It is renewed for season two. Shut up, Mikey. God it's damn it. it. Yeah, it's not coming out until like 2026. Oh, Happy for Lucy, though. Big roll. You mean Goosey? Yeah, get, duh, Goosey. Yeah. Good for you, Goosey. I feel like Ella Purnell is about to like pop off. So blow up, yeah. dude. She's so she's so spectacular. She's like, doing so good. It's awesome. Who? And she's already got like. Well, Arcane's coming out to pro. She's so good. Oh, <laughs> dude, and, and she has jinx. you saying it was Jinx, like just I mean, yes. dude. I was like, she's oh, very good. Uh, She's not just a good voice actor. She has a good crazy face. She's you know, she's great. She's, she's got live action Jinx too, I think. Crazy eyes. She gave her different hair and whatnot. And she could play live action Jinx. But um, discussing this, it was interesting to get a little bit of a Maximus, you know, story with, you know, Lucy as they, they continue on and they're trying to figure out how to, the best way to do things. Did we get story from Maximus? You're going to say such pretty, wild shit. It's pretty much Maximus found happiness. Maximus is having his beach episode, <laughs> okay? Yes. Yeah, you, <laughs> you learn a little bit. Maximus, Maximus went, went on vacation. This, like, he went on vacation this episode we, and, and cried. Well, we learned a little bit more, though. Pure joy, like. We learned a little bit more, though. Could we, sure, we, yes. I'm, I'm just yeah, fucking around. Like, Maximus but, yeah. never, you know, we learned about the Brotherhood. It's, you know, obviously very rigorous. It's the army. He's never had sex. But it's also bro. religious sect, maybe. That's, that's heavy shit. If you touch your penis, it will explode. Yeah. <laughs> will die. <laughs> um, we know more about the Brotherhood of Lucy Steel now. Reading, you know, because you know, for the for the sake of keep perpetuating the human race, that's what she's all about. Sure, Especially, Mikey. Or maybe she also likes to have sex because they were literally just like, eh. ah, "This is boring. What do you want to do? Well, what you gonna do when you're locked in a box underground for fucking two hundred years?" True. It's yeah, true. no, no, no. But true. in that situation, it didn't seem like it had been that long of a period of time. And she's true. like, man, this is boring. <laughs> it's been like at least a week since her wedding. Sure. She's still and married. She widowed. Not legal. I wonder if the trap <laughs> I wonder if the trap is uh, the one that Maximus is in right now, which is the room and whatnot that he's taken. They're both the trap. Yeah. They're both the trap. The, the first trap is safety and, like, security, Maximus. And the other trap is impregnant, impregnating you with piranhas. Uh, which so, I don't understand. Which I'm not really understanding. One. Yeah, I was like, are they reading the gulpers? Did they make the gulper? Maybe. No, I don't know. Maybe they're testing. That's kind of what I was getting. Well, I, I, was, I mean, there was the gulper. And yeah. then there was, like, the fish that came out of the person. Yeah. But, like, why cryo-freeze them? Uh, um, preserve them? Yeah, That's for, right. like, a mess to point. I, dude, I don't fucking know. Also, like, what fucking benefit is sending gulpers out into the world? Because it's not like this well, is a fall project. This is, like... For all you know, the gulpers are actively improving the quality of the water, water. the environment, possibly. We uh, don't know. Eh. I think they're just experimenting for the sake of experimenting like vault Tech does. But they're not truly vault Tech. Yeah. Like they, they, they show Some their are. true colors, but predominantly... Birdie's from the surface, and it looks like Birdie's running fucking level Running 12. the show. Well, she's yeah. running those ones, but there's also the overseer who is from the vault... And he has mutations, so it seems like the people who are from the vault have mutations. Whereas Birdie, mm. no, but they say it. They said it. They let people in because they're they're part of helping people. Maybe they look for people with experiment or radiation so they can observe them. But the big that's thing a is, great point, Mike. Um, the big because you know they're radiated on the surface, especially because these people are from have mutations. But yeah. they're also from um, place a nuke went off. 
Sure. Oh, that's a good point, Mikey. Yeah, it's, that's, the, that's the, good. Because the city, all the all the people from the surface who were like, you know, rubbing the ashes, were from the same place Maximus was born. It seems like you know the, the city that was originally the Californian, you know, the was it the NCR? Uh, you know, it was one, their capital city, and it got nuked. And those are their survivors, and they moved into a vault underground because they were welcome. And maybe they're being observed welcome. for the radiation effects, or maybe those women are, you know, pregnant women from the you know nuka thing that had radiation sickness and died or i don't know but the scientist was actively said like i'm glad none of you escaped yeah, it, might be, it might have been right. pregnant women from like, and he long. grabbed a yeah. harpoon gun right to make me believe gulpers. they're making the gulpers because yeah. who the fuck has a harpoon gun for any other reason than gulpers? to kill something that is in the water yeah I yeah i know Okay, more importantly... More importantly, we... Uh, go ahead. Are you done talking about the vault? Or are you still talking about No, no, no. No, okay. no, no. I was yeah, going to yeah. talk about, more, like, the actual backstory. More yeah. importantly, uh, the whole Moldiver being from pre-war thing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's kind of huge. I wonder... You shit. wonder what that's about. Well, like, that makes no is. sense. Because it's, 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 they're saying that she was part of the group of people that was, like, anti, you know... She was communist. Happiness, you know, yeah, communist. And she survived for 200 years somehow. She has to work for Vault Tech, right? And, and different face. Maybe he. Maybe or she, she was, broke into Vault Tech. Maybe she was cryo frozen. I, 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 that's totally a possibility. Yeah. The only reason I think she works for Vault Tech is when he met his buddy at the bar, his buddy saw the whole picture. And he insisted, like, you should come. And even before, right before mm -hmm. meeting Moldaver, he's like, she's going to fucking convince you. Yeah. So meaning she knows what his wife knows or more. Yeah. But I mean, his wife flat out was like, it's going to really suck that we can't bring the dog. It's going to break her heart. And he's like, the fuck you mean I can't have a dog? Yeah. Well, it was weird because they were like dancing around the real elephant in the room, which is like the acknowledgement that the world's going to be. Which, which is probably why they got a divorce. Because she bought a vault spot and wanted to go in the vault and all this and that, and he doesn't believe it, and but she knows it's coming because she works for Vault Tech. Yes, and as a Vault Tech executive, she knows that they're antagonizing for the war because that's how they make money. I feel, and, like, and we know yeah. he's a true patriot and a veteran and believes thing, in America, not in sabotaging America for right. profit. One right. thing it feels yeah. like it, that it is is the shareholders who want it profit. Felt like they didn't think the world was going to end. They thought just like a few nukes would go off, would scare people into buying, you know, shelters. But in reality, what happened was like a simultaneous like nuking, like complete nuking of everything. And That's just, the plan. Yeah. They but, have all the power in a post-apocalyptic world. But they won't have, you know, the shareholders won't have money if... That's yes, the case. totally correct. But instead, they've okay. manufactured their own new world... Before the old world is over. And we got confirmation. Because she even said yeah. she's going to get them into a good vault yeah. for management. Which which is where... And like we get to everything. oversee all the other vaults. Yeah. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? Interesting. And then that's part of why maybe he left his wife and brought the child with him. So now got custody. But it's, it's quite curious. I feel like he's I'm starting to her. believe... Yeah, or after this meeting, we don't know how soon after that birthday party was after like this app, like this flashback. Well, it could have been like a week later, and he just took his daughter Mikey and, and said, he just had to try to make some money. Mikey said something about alimony. Yeah, I don't remember him saying that, but did he like, did one of the guy douchebags at the party say, like, oh, well, most really suck are doing kids' parties now? And he's like, gotta pay the alimony. Is and, that what he yeah, said? Yeah, and then his daughter asked about it, and she's like, what does that mean? And he's like, something that's not what you think it is. He gave her a lie. His daughter asked, like, what is alim like, what's that mean? I don't remember that, but okay, I, I, I believe you. Um, You've once, seen it twice, of, so. One thing I'm curious about from editing, um, one thing I'm curious about is, um, so, how old is Lucy? Does her age line up with the nuking of the NCR town? It seems like it does, in the sense that maybe her mom is a survivor from this town that was nuked. And it was it the Brotherhood that nuked it? It seems like it was the Brotherhood that nuked it. It seemed like Maximus might... Well, no, no, no. So, like, the Brotherhood and NCR have been at war? 
And I don't know, like... Yes, but it's just weird, because Maximus, if if he knew the Brotherhood bond them, why would he view them as heroes? He's, he's a, a child, child, and they kept that knowledge from him that they're at war. Because yeah. as I recall, the Brotherhood of Steel was, like, on its last legs uh, after Fallout 2 by New Vegas time in California. So maybe they, like, blew up Shady Sands, and now they're like, we're gonna win now. I don't know. I haven't kept up on well, the West Coast. Well, because it's lower. now been, for this timeline, it's been like 20 years since Shady Sands was blown up, right? Didn't it say 77 and we're in 2290? I want to say we're in 2290. I'm, I'm basing that off of... Mikey, confirmation on 2290? Maybe. I have 2291. But I guess it tracks, because Maximus seems like he's in his 20s. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it more or less tracks... Like from that? 2296. 2296. So so sure. If she was born when like the bombs went off, for example. It blew up at 70. It, something. 77. Yeah, so yeah. 96. So 19. She, so she'd be 20, 19. 29? Yeah. Math? 77, 96. 19, 19, yeah. 19, 19. Yeah. Okay. Wait, he was like five, six in that? I mean, we're basing this off of like, not anyways, really, so just, yeah, just assumptions. Well, what are you basing? What is this important to? What's your theory? Based on how, what Lucy's parents do and how important her mom is, maybe in relation to Moldiver, is that the nuke went off. Obviously, Moldiver is the flame queen. So that way they support her because Moldiver is trying to get revenge, maybe on the Brotherhood or something for what happened or the Enclave. Maybe it was the Enclave who dropped the bomb. <sighs> I don't know, but Moldaver, there's clearly more going on because, like, not for nothing, but she definitely isn't still fighting for the same thing she was 200 years ago. Communism? I, I, Unless she's fighting the Enclave. I, I mean, or she just sucks at it. I don't know if we're going to see anything from the Enclave. We've got no indication the, the Enclave we're going to see anything the from the Enclave. the scientist is from. Yes. I thought the, that Enclave scientist was like... He's from the Enclave. There shouldn't be California That was Enclave. the Enclave. That was the Enclave. That's where he's from. It would make sense that the Enclave is fighting the NCR or the Brotherhood, and the chip is pivotal to who controls the surface of the wastelands on the West Coast, is what they've said before, and the war for it. So that's why everybody's trying to get it, and if Maldiver is against the whoever... Sure, she might you know be what? NCR against the Brotherhood, and she's like, blah, blah, blah. You're right. It. The Enclave should yeah. be appearing at some point yeah. to also try to reclaim the head. They should. It would make sense. They're not just going to let it. If it is actually of great importance as everyone else believes the Brotherhood it is. Man, I heard the last episode is Brotherhood of Steel fighting the Enclave and the NCR. The, does the Brotherhood work for the Enclave? No. They are at a, No, they're, they, they're they on opposite ends of the spectrum. Okay. Every faction so, for more, or more or less hates each other. Yeah, they all contrast each other. Okay. So that's good to know what's about to be going on is maybe just a... Other than a Caesar's fight. Legion. Yeah. I mean, Kaiser. Kaiser's Legion. I don't know you. I don't know you. It's um, for the people. What do you mean? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> we have 732 Review Crew. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. If you enjoy our content, make sure you do uh, check out our Patreon, which features full length to this and many other series and movies. Otherwise, make sure you comment. Let us know how you're enjoying thought, things that you do like about this reaction or the show itself. Otherwise, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps a long way, especially with getting us towards our goal of 5,000. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Toodaloo.